Let's go, everybody. Let's, let's, let's read some blogs. Let's have some fun. Let me stop the music and away we go. Here we go. Okay, let's start with some factual reputations. Part one. This is written by Grandmaster and former world champion Vlad, Vladimir Kramnik. I'm going to present to you a few posts one by one refuting the nonsense and manipulation spread in vast amounts by different sources. Okay. Since I do not use such methods myself, there is one thing remaining, presenting the facts and the truth with clear logics behind it. Now, first, first things first, let us start with the joke of the month, a recent chess.com statement. Unfortunately, unfortunately for a former world chess champion, I'm pretty sure that the joke of the month is not chess.com. Uh, so he, he points out their whole, whole, whole blog post they made in regards to his accusations. Let's keep going. I will point out huge blunders in the so-called research, research in a language everyone can understand. Let us put aside wording manipulations such as calling my requests accusations, which is just unacceptable in my opinion for any respectable company and go straight to the point. Okay. <laughs> this is great. I, I love, um, I, I love the, the blunders, the, the huge blunders. This is good stuff. Okay. As to the allegations about Hikaru's incredible incredible performance streaks, including winning 45 and a half games out of 46. We have also looked at the statistics behind this. Our team has done the math and various simulations of streaks for a player like Hikaru who has played more than 50,000 games. We have found that not only is a 45 game winning streak possible, it is in fact likely given the number of games played. We have confirmed these results with external statisticians, including a professor of statistics at a top 10 university. Okay, first things first. This is uh, a clear quotations from the chess.com report now what i'm gonna actually i'll add that when i when i see him say that somehow that's not true okay to calculate correctly math probability need in the text here mp of certain performance streaks you must a calculate precisely the total amount of such streaks b average rating difference in each c to calculate match i think match points is what mp means within total within a period of time total amount of games played by a player those streaks were performed and take only games played with the same time control okay it is obvious that classical chess rapid blitz three without increment and a bullet are very different in nature and even have different ratings. How can this, the world's best leading anti-cheat system, fail to understand that you can't mix it together when examining the streaks made in solely three minute blitz games? Wait, what? Wait, okay, first thing, first things first. If I understand this correctly, he's saying they're different, different ratings. How can they not understand this? I, I mean, uh, MP equals math probability. Okay. Math probability. Okay. This is, um, I don't even understand what he's saying here. Is he saying that, that you have to, that you have to step, he's saying that chess.com does not separate them. Is that what he's saying? I mean, what, what, what he, that's what he's saying. Basically, there's one big problem, which I'm going to point out probably at the end of this, which is that based on what Kramnik is saying, there's a certain player whose performance is even much, even more impressive than my performance over his last like 30 plus games, which is going to say a lot. Um, this immediately decreased the amount of games by a good 40%. But the funniest thing is actually in this particular research, it doesn't even matter much. Okay. How can they, how can they together with some other mathematicians publish, publishing their discoveries on it, fail to understand that those winning streaks probability fully depends on the total number of games played during this period and not altogether. Uh, I'm pretty sure that actual mathematicians already debunked this part of what he's saying, but let's just, let's just give him the uh, benefit of the doubt for a second. Um, and that if you take the full period of time, which is something interesting to make, but an, is another separate research, it doesn't make any sense without calculating the total amount of streaks during this whole period. Okay. I give you an example to explain why the statement has nothing to do with real anti-cheating research. See, now this is the problem, actually. This, this is the big problem with this whole thing, is that at the end of the day, when you look at this, Kramnik with what he's done has actually shown that he does not understand math, and he does not understand what anti-cheat anti-cheating is or fair play or whatever you want to call it that's the biggest problem with this but let's keep going imagine you must calculate the probability of say real madrid scoring three goals in a match with barcelona so if we use this chess.com brilliant method we start measuring what is the probability of real scoring one goal uh this is already okay okay i'm gonna this this right here is completely wrong but let, let's let let I, i've already said let's keep going so i won't say that um, as soon as I finish reading this paragraph, though, we're going to have a problem here. So if we use the Chess.com brilliant method, we start measuring what is the probability of Real scoring one goal, taking into account all games played during the season, plus friendly training matches against the second division teams, those 50,000 games. Guess what would be the probability? This is the big issue here. The big issue here is that if, if Barcelona or Real Madrid, because generally those are the two biggest, um, 
biggest clubs. I, I don't follow soccer very, very closely. Let's, let's be very clear. I don't follow it closely. But I'm willing to bet you that if Barcelona played 46 games in a row against whoever's at the very bottom of Division One, and they, they do this like for 10 years in a row or 20 years in a row with the great, great players that they have on their team, they are going to get a streak like this. They're probably actually going to win most games, if, if you were to ask me, probably by two goals or more. If they play the very worst team at the bottom of uh, La Liga, um, the top division, they're pro this is probably going to happen because they're, they're basically playing La, La Liga every single time. Um, so this is the first huge mistake um, with this. And he's going to say, what is the probability? C close to 100% voila. Um, so he's saying, correct, close to 100% voila. If betting companies would make such researches, they, wouldn't, they would become bankrupt in, in a week. Okay, wait. Okay. He says, wait, but now he's saying one goal. Wait, he, I, I don't even understand what he's saying here. You, he's saying Real scoring three goals in a match with Barcelona. That's not actually what matters, right? It's not about scoring three goals. It's about winning the matches, right? It's about winning the match itself. It, it, like the, you're going to win the matches because you're playing a much, you're playing a team that is so far inferior to how good you are. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, let's keep going. Would chess.com again keep their royal science or maybe explain to us finally, was it a joke? If not, it's just an incompetence of the mathematicians working with you. I am sure not. Okay, this also is extremely disrespectful. Let me see if I can find this. Um, this, is, this is really disrespectful here to actual mathematicians. Yeah, there, there's literally this. I'm just going to pull this up for one second. Not, not that it needs to be mentioned, but just for one second to show you guys what I'm referring to. Um, there literally was a study done by... Uh, by Nick Polson and that Nick Polson from the University of Chicago Booth School of Business and Vadim Sokolov from George Mason University, and I guess Shiva Maharaj, um, as well from Chess Ed or Ch Chess Education, whatever it is. So, there actually are papers published by people who are mathematicians who have spent their entire lives on this. And Kramnik is basically like saying, These people don't know anything. That'd be the same thing as if you guys in chat come in here and you tell me. Hikari, you don't know anything about chess. Like, I know that, you know, the Black Mardimer Gambit, it wins by force for white. It's a winning opening, okay? I know it's winning. And you're wrong. You're wrong. That's the bottom line. Um, so that's essentially what Kranwick is saying here, um, to, to be clear. Uh, but but let's let's get back to the, the article. Because um, obviously, if, if someone said that to me, like, how, how, I mean, obviously we know it's ridiculous. And that's what's happening here. You have someone in Vladimir Kramnik who basically is confusing the fact that he is a great chess player, one of the best of all time. And he's confusing his chess abilities with the, with mathematics, which he frankly does not possess those abilities. He is a beginner at math. He is. That's just the reality. Just as I would be at math too. Just as anyone would be who spent their life in a, another field. Uh, well, you are wrong about the Black Mardemer, but otherwise you're tops. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, if not, it's just an incompetence of the mathematicians working with you. I'm sure not. Was well, an attempt to throw a bone to a dog by taking parameters that would a priority lead to the desired result? I hope not. Then what? Whom are you taking us for publishing this, dear Danny and Eric? Because even a basic school education, at least when I was young, is enough to understand how incompetent is this explanation would be obviously the English isn't perfect because this is Kramnik's second language. Um, do you understand that such a statement can make people with develop who develop critical thinking doubt chess.com anti cheating measures in general? Okay. After this, I feel I have even more rights demanding from the platform something which would at least remotely remind a proper anti cheating examination and provide us real numbers. I am sure your mathematicians are capable of doing it correctly if that would be the goal. It would repair the image damage done by the statement I mentioned earlier. This is pretty funny, by the way. It would repair the image damage, ma image damage to chess.com made by the statement earlier. Unfortunately for Kramnik, um, if we're being frank, the damage, uh, the damage that's happened is to to Kramnik's reputation because of what he has done. Uh, chess, it's not to chess.com whatsoever. If you need my help providing exact numbers uh, during the strict reform, the formula for how to count probabilities, I have it all. You're welcome to ask if it can manage properly on your own. Do not hesitate. I still can ask. Now, also, here's the other thing. If Kramnik has all these great numbers he claims to have, just release them in your blog. Like Kramnik's always talking about how this blog is his blog. It's his free, it's his it's space where he's free to say whatever he wants. Just publish your stats. Just publish them here in public if you have such great stats that are infallible. That's the bottom line. Um, 
as far as demanding this also is another thing that i think chess players really need to understand just because someone was the world champion does not mean that you have the right to demand things especially from companies that are private and you have no involvement with um so this is the first blog but 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 also just we're going to read the second part which is probably going to have more but i would say once again if cramming is so dead set on this i'm going to tell you that there's someone else who has a much better performance against a much higher rated um much higher rated opposition over 3000 level and I'm pretty confident Kramnik is not going to accuse that person of cheating. Even though it hit, if you use his stats, I'm pretty confident that that streak is not possible either. 